everyone, welcome back to the EnviroLab. My name is Kenny, and if you guys are fans of zombies or anything like that, this video is for you. So we recently found some fruit flies at the Science Center that were infected by these spores called Entomophthora muscae, also called the zombie fly virus. It's not as scary as it sounds, these spores are actually all around us and humans are breathing it in pretty much all the time. For bugs, those spores land on their exoskeleton and then it eventually gets into their brain and their nervous system and kind of takes over the way that they behave. So the fruit flies that we discovered, we noticed that they were really white and a bit larger than uh, regular fruit flies. So we actually put them underneath the microscope and we were able to see the actual fungal spores that were attached to the fruit flies. For the zombie fly virus, it takes around 14 days from when the spores come in contact with the fruit fly. It'll start to show signs of it around seven days. It'll make the fruit fly climb to a very tall spot, spread its wings and its legs apart. The spores will kill the fruit fly off. The spores will be able to fall off and then infect other insects so that it can carry on its growth. Something similar to this would be cordyceps. This has kind of been hyped up in media, but cordyceps, as of right now, cannot infect humans, so that is not something that we need to be worried about. These different types of fungi are really interesting to look at, especially underneath a microscope. They're even being studied in labs to help humans with like healing properties and antibacterial properties and things like that. Once again, the zombie fly virus cannot infect humans. It is called zombie fly virus because it only affects other types of flies. So if you're interested about learning about these types of fungi, there's lots of information on the web. And if you'd like to talk to somebody in person about it, feel free to come on down to the Science Center and we can have a chat about it.